So today, today we are going to install the glass into the windshield, the inner windshield frame, and then hopefully we'll get the outer windshield frame uh, seal on also for the swing out portion. So anyway, uh, I did this once before. Um, it did not end well. So today, so today, hopefully this will be a bit easier. So I have uh, some silicone spray, some silicone lubricant, and uh, and then I have some rubber seal conditioner. So this will probably just make it a little slippery and a little more pliable, is what I'm hoping for. And then obviously you don't want to use any kind of petroleum-based um, lubricant for the rubber; it just eats it away eventually. This is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I did have so this is a used uh, the, the original windshield, and as you saw earlier, um, it did not want to go in very well. I took a carbine bit to the inside of this because it had some rust buildup on it. And the rust was actually, I think what I'm hoping, uh -oh. what was keeping the uh, the rubber from from actually expanding out as big as it is. So the windshield wasn't actually fitting into it. So hopefully, hopefully this is much easier. So anyway, so first thing we do is actually get rid of the frame. So first thing we do is wrap the window. So I am going to wrap it from the top here. So we're going to spray. Try to spray both sides here. It's messy, but I figure the slicker it is, the better it is. So these are are long. They're longer than they need to be. So they'll end up getting cut off. And they also you also end up cutting off or cutting the 45s also. So, okay, so, wrist blade. And we're gonna cut a 45 here. So we got a slice. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slice through both these at the same time. Then, put it on here. Fold it over. Back. Put it all the way down. I'm going to push this corner real tight and then I'm just going to cut through both. So that's where it's overlapped. You can see it's overlapped a little bit there. So I'm going to just cut through both at the same time, right as, you know, as close as you can to the uh, to where it already is and uh, so you don't have a gap, but I'll just clean them up. Otherwise it bulges out, Oop, like that. You can see that, hopefully you can. here that are overlapped. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on a little farther this time because the last time I kept wanting to flip up so I'm just gonna go uh, you know that far just so it stays on real nicely. Do it again. Okay this is the fun part. This is the part where I not this is I'm all gun shy. I'm all gun shy right now. So okay so I I may need your help but we'll see. Hopefully I can, I, you should technically be able to do it by yourself. So I'm just going to lube the crud out of these little thingies here. Okay, and then we're going to do it so that the seam is actually going to be at the top. 
You know, actually, I could use your help. If anything, just to hold this. Perfect. So then it just, technically, it just slides down in here. Mm -hmm. And so far, this is 100% smoother than it was before. So I'm actually going to spray this too. Liberal, liberal quantities. Can't overdo it. Cannot overdo it. Oh my gosh. Incredible. Oh my gosh. You know, dude. when you watch the other video, I when know. you see the other video yeah. of me doing this yeah. stuff, yeah. So, I, granted, I don't have a top on, but so far. That looked pretty easy. That was incredibly easy. I don't even think I need a video for this. I know. It's so easy. <laughs> so simple. You shouldn't even need it's to watch this so, video. Yeah. If you can't figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Oops, shoot. See, that's why I think a little bit more. I'm just gonna pull this side so we can get it down quite a ways before it starts to get bunchy. Yeah, make sure you get on the same amount on both sides too. Because maybe that's part of the it is. struggle. Easy. Do we have to go farther? Well, yeah, we're gonna, yes we do. Why is that so much easier? Yeah, we do that. Very good, because this one's the tricky one. We can see where the... This one back out, like see the gap. Oh yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. As you as you vibrated it, it shook back up. Hmm. All right. Well, let's. Uh... I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah. It's the seal. So it's sliding. This part right here, you can see, this part right here, this is the faces out, outside. So this is the inside. So the handle's on the inside, so it's gonna sit like this. Side, it's yep. the other That's why like, I see, have the, you... the ratchet strap on it. Yeah, I see what you mean. Well, can you adjust it to one side and then get like a bolt in? Yep. That's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll just try to push the other side down. Yep. Get the bolt in. That's not done right now. That's where I should really have a rubber mallet. Oh yeah, I know, right? It's like it's something that should be... Where's it right now? Hang on. Yeah, this is why I had the... No, I get the ratchet strap part, yeah. yeah I think it's don't just, we just, every time so I we, tap we, it. So we just focus on one side at a time, get a bolt in, and then yeah. we can do the other Because if you do, if you, you put that side in right it. now, it's going to pop the other side straight out. Yeah, I know. Yep, exactly. So you yeah, can start from one end here. Problem is that bolt's like a perfect fit through here. Yeah, I think we can do... Okay, so that, that side is like barely on there. But doesn't matter. I'll get a longer one if I have to. Okay. Okay, so the other side. Yeah, this right, so now we'll go through the center here. Oh, this one in this. Oh, I see. That's what you said. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's going to have to go that way, too. Mm-hmm. How does that work? That's 
before we do the, I think we're going to have to do the ratchet strap, to be honest. Too big a deal. Got to hope I don't break it again, man. If That's I do, I'm just going to have somebody else do it. <laughs> All right, so give it a little ratchet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I, this. Go ahead. I don't want to put too much pressure. It can't build it up too much. It's still going to push down. Yeah. Pretty good, actually. Does it matter? There's longer ones and shorter ones. There's one longer. Yeah, one long one goes in the middle. I think the new windshield frame is like, is like the reason that this is such a pain in the butt. In fact, I don't have. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's old. Yeah, I mean, of course. All right. This is working, huh? Yeah, it is. I guess it's all about the the ratchet strap placement. Is, yeah, and is and key. then how it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you actually have to hit it for the drill drill? Yeah. Beautiful. I grab the other two small ones. I think there's a bend in it right here. Yeah, yeah, in the middle. I mean, yeah. you can see it arc. That was, yeah, I don't think it's real, real bad, but. side looks pretty good I think, I think it looks pretty good I think you're at that point where if, if it leaked a little bit on our edge so, I would cook it like this in here like here's the handle right this is the inside yep. the curve goes on the goes that direction okay towards the outside towards the outside yep 
and then it comes in here. This was the part that I also had to get into with sandpaper and get oh, and get the rust out. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there yeah. was a couple of spots, and I'm I I got it as best I could. Yeah, but honestly, I don't know. Yeah, there's a little hole at the beginning of this where you stuff it in at. So I have looped the crap out of it. part is getting it actually in that hole and down at the same time. Struggling? Oh, yeah, I'm just like three inches in. So. Yeah. Only the entire rest of the windshield again. Yeah, exactly. Yep. I feel like this seems like a technique thing. Yeah, I know, right? There, there probably is. I know, it might be one of those things where I just finally, I'll just cut off one lip, stuff it in there, and, and then, then caulk in place. It? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, that sounds like a good way to do that, honestly. Okay, we're just cutting it. I'm just gonna pull it towards me here and yeah. cut it as I pull it. Yeah. This is how to avoid the warranty on your uh, <laughs> seal in 60 seconds. So all I did is I cut off, you can kind of see it, one side, the seal. So hopefully we can just stuff in one side. So I'm just gonna cut this shark shorter because it actually was working way better. Yeah, I mean if we're gonna cook it anyways, like just make well, it easier yeah, for yourself, that. you know? Yeah. Oh, that's just I think I we I think I was doing really well and then I got to a part where I hadn't cut it down quite so far. Yeah. And uh yeah, holy cow. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's the thing I did. I have no doubt that we can seal the window, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Always be extra chemicals and things we've to do that. So. All right. Oh yeah, that's better. I'm gonna cut this long, a little bit long. I imagine. You, I mean, you could just cut it to where they, they meet up in the corner and then you just cold the corner, I guess? No, because I, I need it to be, it's gotta be, gotta be past it like this. It's mm -hmm. either gotta be like this or right, like this. Right, it can't be right. like this. Right, right. Yeah, at then least I don't. Void in the corner. Yeah, so exactly. It's, it's almost like tile. Like one of them has to be extra long. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I'm thinking the one going down would probably be the better one to keep long. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll yeah, if anything, just keep it long for now, and then yep. you can always cut it later. Exactly. Oh man, come on, get on there. Okay, hold on to it. Well, I wouldn't say this is any easier, but I would say that this is possible. So we're just gonna heat gun this thing up and work on it, see if we can get it on. All right, 
here it is. Done. So, uh, seal around the outside, and then the uh, obviously the inner seal is done. Um, the heat gun worked a lot, worked a lot better to get this into place. Still a giant pain in the butt. Um, so, man, I don't know how you do that. Like, I don't know how they, it's, it's gotta be just with a brand new uh, windshield frame, because any little bit of roughness in it, and it just gets, I mean, you saw it just gets caught up and then it doesn't want to drag across. So anyway, that's that. So now, now we uh, get it into the, into the mainframe there. So let's see if we can't do that too. It's kind of a pain in the butt by yourself, but we'll see what happens. Lube this channel here. So it's that fine line where it wants to go. Peeled the seal off so I could hammer at it, not damage, not damage the seal, but they need to. So I'll put the seal back. So it needs to go down a little farther. That might be it. So that's too far. All right, so there is like right there. You can see through right there. It's like that on both sides. So I should have left it long. So I think what I'm just gonna do is I'll probably just run a little bit of rubber or some uh, some sort of weather seal or something like that. It's like that on both sides. See, right there. So. But other than that, I got a little bit less of a gap here than I got on the other side. So you can see a little bit more of a gap there. So I'll probably kick it over this way a little bit. But really, it's pretty darn close. Once I get the, I need to put these on. It's amazing enough I actually haven't painted these yet. I think they got lost in the shuffle of stuff.
All right, well that wraps up the windshield installation video, or at least the seal installation video for that windshield. Um, hope that helped somebody. It was a giant pain in the butt. Took a little bit of time, but uh, but it's all done. Got it done, just tedious. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I will be back again next week with another video. Enjoy. See ya. Bye. <laughs> some sort of some sort of outro thing. Uh.